So I'm just continuing because I ran out of time recording my video. And now if I go back into my saves, you'll be able to see that I do have a date here of 419, which is the save that I'm in. I could reload that now on camera just to show it working, but I'm already in there. Now, I was at the beginning of the game in the last one. Now I'm not. Should have my glider and all that, so. Got a sword. Good to go. Can't complain. Try and do this one-handed. Okay. See, there's a glider. Not at the beginning, that's for sure. As I said, this is going to allow you to back up your saves. This is going to allow you to inject your saves into your Switch and everything like that. It's a great addition. Um, some people wonder how to actually install homebrews. Now, that's basically what I'm showing here is if you go and you download, say, a homebrew, it's the nut.nro file. That's usually the homebrew itself. So you would usually just put that in here in the switch file and you would either create a folder for it or just stick it in here itself. And then when you launch your homebrew, you should have the new homebrew app, emulator, whatever you're trying to run. So basically the tutorial you would have watched for backing up your saves and installing that app, homebrew app, is basically the same process for installing any homebrew app the only difference is you might not have to say you know have an inject or save file you may have a roms file depending if it's an emulator or not and on top of that i must say this is very interesting now i have to say um i did use this switch which is on 5.0.2 and i did back up my save I put it on the computer, transferred it to the SD card, and then I stuck an SD card in here, and then I injected it in. I probably could have just removed the SD card from there, stuck it in here, and injected it as long as I had um, all the files necessary for homebrew on it. Now, for some people who are saying they're having problems with their SD card, it might be because it is an SDXC SD card. If I'm not mistaken, those SD cards um, don't quite run right. Some of them, some of them do. It's kind of weird. Um, I'm trying to look into it and see if there's a possible fix. There, there might be. Um, most people are being forced into having to go into FAT32. There is a supposable EX FAT fix for your SD card so your homebrew will load and the payload will recognize it but that in general is a lot to take in so I hope you enjoy this video I know I enjoyed getting the backup process going for myself once I found out it was out there and how to do it and everything so I figured I'd pass on the message I hope you enjoy take care and all the best